The world is in a rush for the COVID-19 vaccine. The rich nations have already placed orders for millions of doses for their populations as the poor ones pool resources to secure the same for their people. Uganda is on the waiting list as well. The Ministry of Health says they have contacted AstraZeneca, one of the three companies whose vaccine has been approved by the World Health Organization for the vaccine. The first phase, we are getting 9 million. The next phase, we shall get 9 million. We shall continue until, as I mentioned, that every phase we are looking at 20% of the population to be covered. We are also trying to be cautious, uh, to introduce something that we can manage. Um, but also the cold chain requirement for this vaccine for AstraZeneca is, affo is, is affordable because we have already in-country mechanism to manage the, 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 the cold chain. The vaccines, according to Dr. Diana Atwine, will be supplied in three batches to immunize up to 30 million Ugandans. We may not be able to get all the doses that we need because of the global um, demand. But also because of resource pooling. Dr. Atwine says the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization under the COVAX initiative has agreed to co-fund the first procurement. Government also is expected to co-fund to co-fund by providing about 10 to 11 million US dollars. In a statement released on Sunday, the ministry said it is looking at accessing a traditional vaccine from China. When we say traditional method, we are talking about the conventional method in science. However much we now have a hope in sight towards the fight against COVID-19, it's still uncertain when the vaccine will be in the country. And this is majorly because of the high global demand. It's therefore prudent that you protect yourself against contracting the infection such that the vaccine can find you alive. Walter Mwesi NTV.